Hello Fly Tires, welcome to another episode of Aaron at the Fly Desk. Today is going to be kind of a scenario video. I was asked if I could pick two flies for my fly box and only two, what would I pick? And the first fly that came to mind was this one that we're going to be tying right now. And this is called Easton's Magic. The story behind this fly is I was working in a fishing department for a local sporting goods store while I was going to college. And we just had a baby. We named him Easton. And I didn't have health insurance. And so I didn't know what to do but to find other ways to make money so we could pay for this new baby. So I went to our manager. His name was Paul. Great man. And Paul said that I could tie flies and sell them to the store. One of the things that we had noticed is some of the flies that we were ordering from various companies were subpar. So he said, hey, tie some of your local favorite patterns. There was a lake called Colob Reservoir that I'd started fishing and I caught a really big fish off this fly we call Easton's Magic. So how I tie this is I put um, lead, I've kind of got a head start on the video because um, we're going to be tying two flies today and so I put the lead on the front part and that makes it kind of dip and run when you're stripping it in and then I put just a little bit of crystal flash and then what we're going to do is we're going to get some marabou and I like to find the really soft stuff and what you can do is you can either pull it off of the bottom part or Sometimes your marabou is pretty soft at the top, so we're actually going to just use the top of this clump of marabou. And on this fly, I don't make my tail very long. And you'll see that I usually try to keep my tail about the same length as my hook. And I like tying it on a curved Daiichi 1270 curved nymph hook. And I'll go right down to where my barb is, just on that curve. So I've got a little bit of crystal flash in there. I've got my marabou. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my dubbing. There's a couple different times kind you can use. This ice dub works pretty good. Um, I like using Simicil dubbing, but you want some that's the, the black peacock color. So it's got a little bit of kind of that sparkly dark olive mixed in with the dubbing. And I'm, like I said, I'm a fan of the Simicil or, you know, Sil type dubbing. And I just put it right on my thread. And what we're concerned about on this fly is taper. So I go thin on the back. And as I come to the front, you can see I get very, very generous with my dubbing. Oops. Like so. Okay, then I get all the way to the top, and I like using a red or an orange thread, and I actually build it up just a little bit, like so. And the reason why this is one of my top picks, for if I just had two flies in my fly box, is this fly imitates a leech which is found in most waters that I fished and it also imitates a minnow can imitate a large damselfly and my favorite sizes on this is a size 12 and a size 10 I have tied them as small as size 16 and as big as size 6 but that 10 to 12 is kind of the sweet spot so once I've got it all done, I get my trusty 
wire brush out and I brush that out and now you can see that that is just a bushy leech fly and that that little peacock tint to it is the ticket so that is Easton's magic that's the first fly I would put in my fly box I'll throw a little bit of UV glue just to seal everything in okay so that's fly number one now fly number two we're going to tie on a size 14 scud hook and what we'll be doing is we're going to use some olive base thread on this fly A lot of different renditions of this fly. Um, we're going to tie this one with some latex. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right at the front. I'm going to cinch it down nice. Then I'm going to stretch my latex. And I'm just going to put it right on top of the hook. And this fly I call Sammy Special. One of my good friends, Sam, he uses this little cream worm and he actually ties it just with some cream thread. And he outfishes about anybody with that stupid little thread fly. So I have to make mine more technical. So I do mine with. Um, latex okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this latex and I'm gonna wrap it pretty tight and I'm just gonna put it end over end so it's making its own ribbing go all the way to the front and then I'm gonna tie it off So I've tied this with the thread and it, it works awesome. I've just found if I put the latex on it, it just gives it a little bit more density and it sinks better. So a couple different ways I've done this. I, I've tied it off with this olive thread right there or what I do is I'll whip finish this like so and then I get black thread like that so this fly just has a little black head. And the reason why I like this fly, and it's one of the top two I would put in my fly box, is it can imitate a mayfly larva, a caddis larva, a little worm. So many things this fly can imitate. I've caught a lot of fish on it on big rivers, small creeks, still water fishing. Um, this fly was first shown to me on Lee's Ferry. Me and Sam were fishing down there and he totally outfished me with it. Like I say, he ties his with just some yellow thread. Um, I personally like to use the latex. I think it gives it a little deeper color. Looks a little bit more buggy as well. And so on this, I like to keep it nice and sleek. 
And so I don't put a ton of glue on it. Because I want it to look more like a little worm. So, top two flies. I'm going with Easton's Magic here and Sammy Special here. If I could only have two to fish, these, will, these would be the ones. So, thank you for watching this interesting episode of Angler Maid's Aaron at the Fly Desk. And I hope you guys can tie a few of these flies and go catch some fish with them. Thank you for watching.